everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and a little bit festive. So for today I thought it would be super fun to create a DIY advent calendar and in order to kind of theme it around something that I already have around the house and to use some tools I haven't quite used yet, which is specifically stamping tools, I wanted to create an advent calendar with envelopes and little uh, inspirational quotes inside, or in my case, some beautiful aesthetic poetry. So I've decided to print out a bunch of different little poetry cards on about these size, and these fit in approximately A1 sized envelopes. So I do have a nice set of envelopes here in neutral colors, and I have some fun little accessories like stamps and little tags and stickers and things of that nature that I wanted to decorate it with to create a cute little custom advent calendar that I could then open up on my TikTok. So if you don't follow me over there, you can follow me at BrieIY written it right there for you same name as this channel and uh, you can go over and see what uh, is in the advent calendar every single day but I'm gonna give you kind of the gist and show you what I'm gonna look for as far as making these little poetry cards go and then I'm gonna show you how I'm putting it all together in the end I'm not going to spend too much time reading these, uh, and I definitely don't want to give away the surprises, but in order to create these, I took some neutral colored paper. This is an off-white, and I do have a bright white as well, so that I could kind of add some variation. And I went into Microsoft Word, and I uh, went into the template section and found a set of, like... I guess they're like shipping labels perhaps, and I deleted the text inside of them, changed all of the fonts to Courier New because I think it has a really nice like vintage kind of look to it. And I pasted some pieces of poetry that I like slash I wrote inside so that I can open something fun and inspirational every day for Christmas. I feel like this is also like a kind of a fun, would be a fun thing to do with like love notes or something if you wanted like a really easy uh, and quick gift to give to somebody. Alright, so my goal for each of these little pieces, and I do have them all cut out into approximately the same shape, and you can see I've got the darker and the lighter ones. I'm going to mix them up so I have a little bit of a range every day. But this is kind of like my sampler one with a piece of poetry from my book on it. So I think I'm going to go for adding like, you know, a flower or a, a set of vines or something to each page as well as maybe a strip of washi tape uh you know on the corners or something just for like a pop of color i've got this like gold a soft pink and a black striped i actually might trade this out for gold just again so it can be more colorful but i do want to keep this black i've never used these stamps before so this is my first time i do have a stamping block a nice clear one that's about the same size as my uh little poetry bits here so that I can easily stamp them and of course a little tiny this is technically a fingerprinting stamp but I think it's tiny enough to get some of these teeny tiny little flowers so it should be perfect and yeah I guess let's do this one and see how I like it and then package and I'll show you what I want that to look like All right, I think this is about as simple as I want it to look. I like the like pink stripe. I might change the corner that goes in. I might only add even one stamp on each of these going forward and then one stripe uh, just to kind of keep them cohesive looking. Um, and I actually do like the pink. So I might grab another shade of pink instead of doing the gold. And I think that kind of keeps it nice and minimalist. So the way that I'm gonna package these, I have these little, oh no. Oh, these are cards and envelopes. <laughs> I thought I had just bought cards for a second. That stressed me out. I didn't need that. Oh boy. So I would grab this and I would slip it inside my envelope facing whatever direction you like. I like having it this way so that I can see it as soon as it slides out, right? And once I have that in there nice and snug, I can close it. And the reason I wanted it a little bit shorter on either side is because now I'm going to put everything together to hang it. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to take a hole punch. I'm going to go up into the corner and I'm going to punch a hole. Which will then allow me to take this big old, I don't even know what kind of cord this is. I think it's like a cotton cord uh, that I just ha uh, found at the local Goodwill for a dollar for this really big spool of it, which seemed like a steal. Um, and I am going to be able to string it through. I would cut off my excess and tie this into a nice little knot. 
There we go. You would close it, of course, so that you'd be able to open it. And then I'm going to take a nice big super sharpie and then write the number across the top for what number of the advent calendar it will be. I did have these. Suddenly second guessing, maybe I should use them. Hmm, I don't know. I guess I will just have to make some more and then we'll see. So I'm gonna hyperlapse through uh, packing all of these and then show you how I'm gonna put it all together at the end. We are now a full hour and 15 slash 75 minutes ahead and uh, I have all 24 set up. Now you may have noticed that the, I put through the packaging away, uh, there only were 12 of each of these envelopes in each pack and I really didn't want to buy a third pack for 25 and on top of that uh, there were only two packs and I am a little frustrated that for some reason the exact same packs are different, like these are a lot thinner and more like almost uh, butcher paper, while well, these feel more like cardstock, and they're of course slightly different tones of brown, which isn't the end of the world, just kind of strange um, that I, you know, paid the same price for mixed quality, that was a little confusing. Um, but I'm not reviewing, uh, I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, instead of buying a third pack, I thought it would be way more fun to get a similarly colored uh, bag, a nice like butcher paper bag and have like a big actual gift on the 25th so I'm gonna go grab that real quick there we go same color and everything and I'm gonna put a nice big 25 tag on it to hang right there and slip my surprise gift inside and here's 25 I also have these cute little decorative paper clips that I thought would be nice just to kind of add another Another little something to some of the more boring pieces, and what you didn't see is I just went back into a couple of our uh, envelopes here, specifically the thicker ones, and I added in some extra little surprises. Um, I'm kind of really excited to open these, even though I already know what's in all of them. Also, can we discuss the fact that I found this uh, half-stitched together doily inside of the whole in my uh, thread, I just I thought it was funny and it's actually kind of nice and kind of cute. I wonder if I can turn it into like a hanging pot holder or something, so I don't know. Just something fun to throw out there. Let's put it together. I can't completely decide which kind of push pins I want to do. The clear ones are these like cool little hook looking ones. I think the hook ones look cooler, so I'm kind of leaning towards them, but I guess the clear ones are an option. And there's also gold ones uh, that you can use, uh, like gold studs that would have been nice. Uh, and these are all from the Dollar Tree, of course. You can probably get any other ones you want, but these are real cool because they will, uh, they have little black balls and little hooks on the bottom, so there's something to hang from. So I think I'm gonna do um, a couple rows. I'm thinking probably six, uh, four rows of six to make my 24 and then have my, you know, box kinda at the bottom. And if you don't have any cork board or any other uh, bulletin board that's just available, if you can't find one at maybe Goodwill or something to make it inexpensive and you don't want to pay full price, you can go to Dollar Tree and they sell these adhesive cork sheets so you can put it up on your fridge or somewhere, uh, you know, maybe on a safe wall or in a, a Dollar Tree frame or something so that you can have an inexpensive cork board as well. And there you have it, a super cute and super easy DIY advent calendar. Of course, I went from the bottom, over yonder, all the way up to the top. That way they're layered on top of each other and nothing got tangled. I made sure they're all laying in the same direction just to kind of, you know, make it pretty. And of course, have our big bag at the bottom. I am so excited to open all of these and show you what's inside. Again, that is going to be happening over on TikTok. And yeah i think it turned out really fun and i'm really so excited about it and i hope you guys are inspired by this and you know maybe consider doing something like this for a friend family member 
any anyone really I think uh, if you put something personal in there it can turn out really cute and really really inexpensive I'm really excited about this and I hope that you guys are really excited too so that is actually all I had for you today I wanted to thank you so so much for watching and if you like what you saw feel free to like and subscribe I put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time and I'd love for you to be here for the next one thanks again so so much and I hope to see you then bye